Konami, this is a message to you. I have just logged in to Yu-Gi-Oh! Mastered All, thinking that we have a brand new pack. And honestly, I was really excited because I was really excited to open some brand new Dark Magician support. But what do I find when I come in? Heroic Warriors. Does that sound like spellcasters to you? So here's the thing. What is your deal with Dark Magician? Why don't you like Dark Magician? You have five or six cards that are behind your vault in Master Duel right now that people really want for Dark Magician. So what the hell, Konami? What's your deal with Dark Magician? Stop it. Hi everyone, today we're going to be opening the Heroic Warriors pack. We're going to be opening 50 of these. There's not really much I'm actually looking for in this set, so Honestly, I'm going to be not really kind of looking for anything actively and usually knowing my luck, that's probably a good thing. <laughs> so basically, I'm not really looking for anything within this set. I know a lot of people are excited for the Libromancer stuff and also some of the Heroic Challenger stuff. So, and I think Ashura King, I think that's actually pretty good as well. I'm not entirely, I'm not 100% sure if it's actually really good, but I've been told there is a bit of hype around that card. Um, other than that, really, it's just a heroic challenger set and all that kind of stuff. Honestly, Vendred, yeah, a lot of rituals in this set. Uh, you can actually get some uh, reprints of some of the Cyburst cards in here as well, so that's really cool. There is also a new event coming to Master Duel in the next week or so called, I think it's like Tales of Chronicles or something, but they've actually released this new selection pack called Recollection of Stories. Now, I'm not going to be opening this one because it's actually just printing of the solo mode stories. Now, if you're interested in the de in the stories of solo mode, I 100% recommend this pack. Um, I'm not going to be opening it, obviously, but there's a lot of like Crusadia, there's um, Light Swan, there's Gear Gear, there's Ghost Trick, anything your heart desires. The only thing that is not in this set is actually the brand new one, which is the Mutants. So don't expect that. If you are interested in seeing me open the Sky Striker secret pack, I will do a live stream of it um, if this video gets a lot of likes. So if this video gets, let's say, 10 likes on it, I will do an opening of the secret pack. So be sure to hit the like button and I will do it and I will stream it too. So make sure you're following me on twitch.tv forward slash Matt Galaxy. All right, let's get into the pack opening. And this is how it works. Oh, wow. 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 Okay. Okay. This is what happens. This, if you don't know my luck, this is what happens when I open a pack that I don't have any interest in. How many is there? One, two, three ultra rare packs and three super rare packs. So this will be an interesting opening, I reckon. I reckon we'll get some nice star cards as well. All right. Okay. So I don't have to worry about left or rights on this one. So I don't have to worry about that. Theron, we're opening with a Theron. So that's really cool. Theron's, I believe, is the main... Uh, theme of the set too. So I know it's in there as well, but it's just like, yeah. Uh, let's see what we get here. Oh, super rare. Nice. Oh, hello. Nice. All right. Third pack. Third pack. Can we get something nice here? Can we get something nice here? So the Libromancer cards are all Cyburst cards. So that's really cool. Um, I'm a bit of a fan of the Cyburst because they really can be anything. They're not really restricted to what kind of type they can be. You know how like dragons look like dragons and all that. Cyburst can be anything. All right, we got our next ultra rare, uh, ultra rare pack. So what's this? Heroic energy. Oh, interesting. All right, pack number six. Nothing. Cyburst magician. All right, Utopia, come on. Let's get something cool. Let's get something cool. Oh, I'm actually, I forgot you guys can actually see my cursor now. Something nice. Libromancer Intervention. Okay. Again, getting two of the same card in one pack too. Wow. Oh, that didn't have a, that didn't have a holo glare for a second there. I don't know what the heck was going on there. All right. And now there's another ultra rare, ultra rare card. What is it? Another heroic energy. A second ultra rare and we get two of the set. We get a second one. Wow. Nah, that's three ultra rares. Okay, well, at least I can craft one card now. So that's not too bad. Okay, so very, uh, okay. I wouldn't say a strong start, but I think Theron, I think getting the Theron cards are actually pretty good as well. So yeah, we can now, uh, we can start kind of building the Theron cards if we really wanted to, but yeah, I, um, a lot of heroic 
challenger stuff, which I don't even, like, again, I don't even know if that stuff is good. So, all right, we're going to move on to the next 10 packs. So here we go. Here we go. I am, we go. Bruh. Oh, there they are. <laughs> Did you see that? They, like, disappeared for a moment. All right. Come on, come on. Give me something good. Say something good. Oh, here we go. Ah, uh, just a heroic challenger. And it's a hollow. All right. Oh, it's a super rare pack in disguise, but that probably doesn't mean anything. Do we get a super rare is the question. Do we get a super rare? We do get a super rare. Okay. Okay, I'll take it. Ethereum Empress. Come on, give me the cards that I need, even though I don't need anything. Theron, Theron Charge and Symphonic Warrior. Here we go, our first ultra rare of the 10 set card set. All right, oh, it's definitely, is it the hidden one? It's definitely this one. Yeah, Libromancer Doom Broker. That's probably one of the better cards of the set too. All right, come on. I think I'll be happy if I just pull at least like nine ultra rares out of this pool. So honestly, I'm not really too keen on this set because honestly, there's not really much I'd be too interested in playing. Maybe, um, maybe the, um, maybe the Theron cards, but besides that, not really much, honestly. All right. Oh, we should get another ultra rare in here. There it is. Or it's that. Yeah, that it is that one. Libromancer first appearance. Okay. All right, another 10 packs. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. No guaranteed ultra rare this time. Of course, we're also after hollows as well. If we pull a hollow ultra rare, I may have to build the deck that's revolved around. Oh, there we go. Another Theron, but it's super rare this time. So Rose Paladin. That's a random card to put in the set. <laughs> or is it? There should be a super rare in here. There is no super rare in here. You lied to me. All right, come on, come on, come on. Oh, we got a few things in here. A couple things. Huh, not bad. Come on, give me an ultra rare. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, Libromancer Geek Boy. Okay, I'll take it. Number eight. We are pulling the Libromancers and the Theron cards, so that's pretty good. Come on. No, it's a Theron Charge. I think that's our second one of those. Pack number 10. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Oh, two at the end. Can we get an ultra rare? It's an ultra rare. It's Libromancer's first appearance. That's cool. Can we get something good this time? We are getting an ultra rare. So if we get, don't get an ultra rare in the next 10 packs after this, I'm going to be very upset. All right, come on, come on, come on. Something nice. That's nothing nice. This is probably one of the most uneventful packs I've ever opened. <laughs> All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, super rare. Ah, oh, it's just revenge red. We're not going to get anything special, it seems like it. All right, come on, come on. Oh, oh, it's a hidden ultra rare. It's Libromance of Fire too, so that's cool. Um, I believe this is one of the main um, cards you need for Libromancers to work. Okay, so it's a Utopia, maybe a Super Rare. Looks like a Super Rare's in here. Two ultra rares? Whoa, okay, what do we get? Her two heroic challenges. Man, that guy from Zexel must be intensifying right now. Pack number eight, pack number eight, pack number eight, nothing. And pack number 10, we get an ultra rare in this one, so hopefully it's something nice. Oh, we get two ultra rares, okay, I'll take it. We get a super rare as well in the middle. Damn, and we actually get Libromancer first appearance as a holo, so that's really nice. All right, last 10 packs, here we go. Can we end with a nice ultra rare? Here we go. I believe there's a really nice Libromancer ultra rare. Actually, the let's try and aim for the cover card. Let's try and get the cover card if we can. Pack number four, pack number four. Come on, pack number four, pack number four. Get a super rare, that's good. Libromancer Geek Boy, another one of those. I think that's also a cool card at the deck. Can someone tell me down below what you like about Libromancers? I don't know what the uh, purpose of them are. I believe, by the way, I believe they're in a TCG import as well. So that's pretty interesting. Hey, we got the cover card. There we go. Theron King Regulus. Maybe I will have to, he does look pretty cool. I may have to play him in a uh, pack. Oh, I thought that was gonna change Rainbow. We get two Super Rares in the same pack though. So that's not bad. Ah, they're both the same one though. 
Man, Konami should really limit the number of super rares. Like, should limit the number of super rares. Like, they shouldn't make it... They should make it so you don't get the same super rare in a row, you know? Nothing. Not even a holo. All right. At least we're going to end on a super rare. So, look. At least it's not the end of the world. No, we're ending on an ultra rare. That's a lie. All right. And a super rare? Okay. What's the ultra rare? Heroic challenger... Oh, heroic champion, mind you. Sorry. Uh... Cleveloshilus. So yeah, that is gonna do it for this pack opening. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this pack opening, be sure to leave a like. I wouldn't honestly buy this pack. I'm not actually that keen on it, but if you guys are interested in it, I think it is a pack that can be bought if interested in it. So hey, if you like Libromancers and Theron King Regulus so much, Sorry, just Thero, not just King Reculus. <laughs> yeah, I definitely recommend this set. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.